follow my crafty people, crafty friends. Just remember that I love you and I want you to stay safe in these horrible days that we all experience. But you know, if you are a crafty soul, I bet it doesn't bother you not to go outside because we love to stay home and create something that we love. And for today's project, I'm gonna work on this absolutely stunning, stunning image of Marilyn Monroe. I love this girl so much. When I was younger, I wanted to be look like her. Now she's just gorgeous. And this is by Wizardy, 20 by 30 centimeters. And I already here open all the. They already was pre-packed, which is awesome. I love when they do this. It this double sticky tape. This is uh, not pour on glue. I wish they would go after that, but not yet. So let me show you all the colors we will work in here. All kind of like shades of grays. This is big bag uh, for the background. Uh, 310 black drills. The rest are mostly gray. A little bit of turquoise even, kind of like a light blue turquoise. This is beautiful, beautiful light color. Uh, so I don't know where that go, we will find out. So I'm ready to start on this one. It's gonna take me very fast. Well, not as fast maybe as you think because I will work in here only with one placer. Usually this kind of tape is really grabbing drills and hard to place but we will see together. So I'm gonna set up my camera, pick the color, we'll see what is gonna be the most. I think if I'm gonna put all these colors in here and if I open this side I think it's gonna be all 310 in here. Ooh, stars, 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 stars. Yep, it's 310. So I guess I'm gonna start work on this corner of 310. How far does it go? It's out showing any new color there. Let's see. So that's a big corner of 310. To avoid uh, crooked drills, I will be doing it in a checkerboard. So that's the color I'm gonna start and I will outline her first all that right top corner all the way almost to the bottom and we will go from there. So if you like to join me to drill together, Marilyn Monroe, lovely, uh, stay with me. I want to show you a uh, tip what I do. Very often, and I hear this um, in a group, the ladies saying that this part where your charger go, uh, breaking up very often. So look what I did. I put, I went to a dollar store or Staples, maybe this one from Walmart, I don't know, this little clips. And because this uh, light, was sitting on my kind of computer desk night table thing it, and I always keep this plugged in because the more you pull it out the more possibility it will break it. So after a while I start to see that this two panels start to separate in here uh, and I keep clicking on the light. Okay so to keep this in peace and not to get broken totally, I figure out that this little clips that you can buy in any staple store or is a staple store just in Canada or US people, you girls have staple store as well. I'm not sure. Uh, but you can buy this from Walmart, you can buy this anywhere and just clip next to your charger device and you should be okay. It will keep your uh, light pad more sturdy without breaking apart. So I think this is a good tip for you for today because 
my start to fall apart looks like start to unglue and um, this work very well so let's start diamond paint one more thing I remember before we start drill with you that I have lots of glue in here I need to bring a washi tape otherwise it's way too much you see how much it's coming out in here I need to cover that and then we're gonna start okay I started to do my washi tape on this side silver one for now and then I see a little bit of air under the canvas and I will try to show you which now feels like I already lost it where that is I thought I saw some air bubbles um, a little bit if you look in here let's see if we can see or not maybe it's not very, very okay now you see the like spot in here pay attention to this spot when I flash it you see the circle uh, this air trap a little bit up there and I saw some very big piece in here that I cannot see now but what I gonna do I put washi already on one side so in here I need uh, the air coming out from under the glue in here so I'm gonna place my sheet back on my image okay and I will start from this side let's get some extra light maybe or this is not even better okay this way is better so I'm gonna try to do from this corner and I will push as hard as I can but not to break nothing I will try to see if I can push air from under the canvas to coming out from out the glue up there and I really really love this tool because this is the big one tool you can find them on Aliexpress or Amazon I want to see if this gonna work or sometimes if it doesn't work if your canvas are big and you can't push air like this all the way you can do a little bit slit with exacto knife let me check now okay I see in here I don't know if the air will come out or not or I have to actually cut let me try this way too maybe it doesn't work very well because I have a soft cushion in here I might have to do this on a hard surface let me check now feels like it's still same way all right so what I gonna do I'm gonna grab something sharp could be needle could be exact knife and I will poke few uh, holes into the glue and then actually I'm gonna try first on a hard surface and I'm gonna tell you if that will work or not but I'm not gonna struggle with you on the camera I will get back to you all right I decided to actually do together with you and you probably not gonna see but it's feel like it's a dent in here and feels like the glue right in here it's not gonna be visible for you but the air trap and feels like glue stretch too strong that doesn't touch at bottom of the canvas so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna literally grab my tweezers and I'm gonna try to poke few holes right into this glue even if it's go through the canvas I don't care we'll try not to okay now I'm gonna cover and I gonna do from one side and a little bit from another side to get this more 
out. Okay, it's better. I can see that it's better. When I get to this part later, I might will repeat if I need to, but for now it's good enough. All right. So let me just do it this together with you in here. I'm gonna peel this all the way. And I'm gonna do washi tape together with you. So when I do washi tape from this side, I'm not gonna do this one side now or this one. You have to overlap your washi tape in the same direction. So if I did this side, then I'm gonna do this side and then bottom and I mean top and the bottom. So I'm gonna do this right now together why not let me just find a hello where is the edge for real <laughs> the struggle it shouldn't be that hard for okay right in here but it is and there's a lots of glue sticking out in here a big chunk so we gonna cover this beautiful washi tape if somebody will wonder I got from dollar store long ago maybe a year ago or more now I don't see this kind in dollar store but when I go to the dollar store there's always something new up there some different washi tape Sometimes holographic and I showed you in one of my videos. All right, Let's chop this side. Okay, and now I'm gonna do this side. Can you see how much glue is sticking out? See, that's a lots of glue overlapping in here. So now I'm gonna try to not overlap like on this side. To make this even as possible, just for in case that's exactly how it's gonna be framed. There. gonna be sticking out a little bit now this side even feels like it's more higher you see the residue glue go all the way up there so you don't have to do this the only reason we do this because I have a pets in the house I have a dog I have a cat so if I don't do this ooh, ah, stuck Stuck where I didn't want it, and this glue is strong. Okay, I have to do this way. Uh, maybe this way. So I don't have uh, any pets for landed on this glue. Also, from my hands, maybe from my clothes fibers not gonna stick into it so it's always good to cover sticky part that you don't need and then on the end if you frame it's nice when some beautiful washi they will be sticking out visible if your frame not as big as a uh, picture and sometimes a little bit of the washi tape could be visible in your frame and that just complete your picture make it more beautiful so because this background gonna be black and she it's kind of black and white glamorous Marilyn Monroe so I thought uh, this glittery washi tape will be nice complementary to this diamond painting okay now 
that's a big legend in here on my side so even I put my washi tape I did not cover my uh, legend after DMC code so you need to watch out for depth because sometimes we put washi tape and then we realize the washi tape cover lots of the um, uh, DMC codes so in that occasion you need to take a picture of your DMC code just snap a picture on your phone and you always will have your uh, numbers saved now let's see what else we want to see I'm still desperate to find a light because now it's evening and we're not gonna have a lots of light but I want to show you our first color that we will work with and that is black drills that is really good condition very beautiful uh, let me see I do not I see a few of them have those little bit of the siding but barely any because you see how nice they line up it's mean they are nice quality drills the one that I have a uh, separators kind of between them they wouldn't be lined up in lines like this they would be crooked this one is is a good quality drills so are we ready right now to drill a little bit let's see open a little bit corner in here and I will use my light pad I think I don't think even I need it but let me try because I want to make sure you will see the best okay one two one two three okay now we're gonna open yeah I think you will see very well but maybe we're gonna start even from this little corner and yes it's actually focusing still focusing I'm gonna place drills next to me here and I think we might gonna place in the um, uh, usually I like to do the very edge I would do the whole line and then after that start in the checkerboard because I want my line the first to be outlined straight but also because I'm right now shooting video and I don't see very well in my eye level I would go later and use my straightener when I have a first line now it's kind of with not enough beads I would push them to make sure it's all straight also we can try to place it together if I turn my canvas this way put my drills next to it no not next to it away 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 let me figure out how to do it because this is I need to hold as well if I would place my pen like this straightener now this thing is <laughs> coming down I need to put something heavy just for just a little bit just to show you example okay okay so I did this tutorial on one of the dreamers design video I place one drill in here and we have already one in here so now I have kind of like support in here for my tool to keep my tool straight and my cover I don't want to stay okay like this and now I'm just like sliding down off my I'm holding it on an angle I would say less than 45 degree 
not very flat and I'm just put my diamond I'm touching my straightener and I'm gonna slide in off the straightener into the canvas like this now there's some wax is coming out of the pen because I just refill it so I'm just gonna wipe it like this on my hand so I don't lose those bits of the wax into my drills like this and you just keep going let's try one with the multiplacer try how that gonna work I'm gonna grab a thread drill and slide into the canvas I don't know if that's went straight or not it looks straight right so I think this is a good idea for you to keep your first row straight and if you still messed up a little bit don't worry grab and push it or from this side or maybe from this side because the one I did in here with strip laser I can see that my first bead was sticking out a little bit not straight so that's the way you can place with the straightener if you wish but we're gonna place without straightener and we're gonna use only one um, one placer so we can create as much as possible to have a line well more accurate and it's more fun when you doing it this way why will get you a little dizzy after a while to look on a checkerboard but then second layer it just boom 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 so easy to do there and usually I take a time on my first layer of checkerboard to make sure I stay right in those squares and then second one just will fall into this grooves kind of like naturally drills at wizardy company are very very sparkly as well and uh, if you like to order there is a website where you can order from wizardy also for Canadians I believe they have um, I have a, a link to Amazon uh, where it's more comfortable for Canadians to order from Amazon maybe than from Europe but uh, I think it's work for both ways I don't know US and Canadians just check it out I will uh, post that link I have if you see my other wizardy unboxing or um, drill with me I believe I added links to both to the website and the um, Amazon where you can order but it sure is gorgeous if you want to remind yourself what kind of canvases or projects I already finished uh, you can look through my videos also I will try to edit to as a end card end screen or the card into my video wax fell out a little bit looks pretty so yes if you like craft I think you save to survive these difficult days it's more hard for kids because they are stuck well they can go play outdoors but not to go with friends but maybe you know shoot the ball by the house or play ball in the backyard somewhere but my kids prefer to stay home and uh, 
I don't mind that as well. Stay safe, everybody safe. Who else love Marilyn Monroe as much as I do? She's so pretty in this picture in black and white. I think to see a little bit more of the quality of these drills, now I'm gonna go back and fill in here my drills between so we can see a little bit already how that look like in finished square. See now, okay, I'm gonna put this on the outside. And then when I go inside, see like it just a boom. You don't have to even take a time to place it because you know it will fall right in place. And as I look in right now, I can tell the way I hear this crunch, and I'm sure you hear that as well. It's mean that drills go nice and tight into the place, not pushing diamonds away, but it's not going to have any gaps between them. So I think... We're gonna have a beautiful image. I hope I'm gonna be right to the end of this drilling and we're not gonna have any popping drills. That's always worrying me. Because I did have one time on canvas there was popping drills, but that was a long time ago. Wizardy. If you're listening to me, it's time for you to change to a pour on glue. Double sided glue, it's already outdated, right, girls? What I think as much as possible, I need to record more videos to keep you occupied for those who stay at home alone and have no company. And I thought, well, you know, one day or so I can stuck it off and not to do nothing. And then it got me that some of you very lonely, live alone, and you wait in my videos every day. And I thought, well, I cannot leave you alone for this long. So I will try as much as possible to create videos as often as possible just for those who don't have anybody. See, I have a house full. Four of us do pets. It's always loud in here. But for those who are lonely, it must be really lonely these days to know where even to go. And I was doing off the camera. Oh, how dare. How dare of me. Let's see. I'm still thinking that this light is blocking my drills or not. Right. So I'm gonna bring you close like this. See, the, this is the disadvantage. When the daylight is gone, it's not much light go on a canvas. Okay, I see this drill I did not place even and it's bugging me. So when I go, oh my God, this glue are strong. So I will have to go like this and push. Okay. It might come out later again, I don't know. But so far, what do you think? That's the closest I can show you right now. We'll see more better of this on a daylight. But for now, you see how they are 
go tight nicely together but without popping that's for sure I can tell you that uh, we're not gonna have a popping drills all right should we do a little bit more I'm gonna oopsie turn light this way I think it's a little bit better for you how about this one off I'm just experimenting right now okay I think this way is better for you without extra light but with the light pad we still can see good and let me remember to be in the picture I will keep only one light but a little tiny my other out at light that stays on my table that way I will see okay now it's blinding me mm, the struggle to record in nighttime I'm telling you because now you're gonna see maybe shadow more well don't look too much just pull out your diamond painting you can just listen you don't have to watch <laughs> because we're gonna cheat in here I'm not even trying to do fast right now I'm just going to make sure to put this first layer nice and tidy and on my first line I can do all the way should I bug you with this black color or come back when we do checkerboard like fill in I don't know okay a few more few more minutes of creating checkerboard and then I will do by myself and come back to you with line created so we can fill them in I have to go to the store and check what else wizard you have they always print something new they especially very popular on a little ornaments and then they have a whole bunch of fun stuff like a paper fold and those paper fold dinosaur or dragon so check them out I always I follow them on Instagram so it's always easy for me to see what they have new because they always post something new on Instagram you can follow me on Instagram as well Lovecraft Forever XO. There. If my first layer of checkerboard sometimes maybe doesn't look very perfect, the second drill will push each other and will even up. Even if I do mistake right now maybe not as perfect as I would love to the other bit will push it definitely nice um, nice cut of this uh, drills some of them cut top layer cut let's see if I can flush a little bit for you okay some of them the very very tip of the drill square and the other ones as a diamond and I mean not because you turn the other way and it's gonna be diamond no it the way it's cut in a diamond shape this one squares so that's why when they okay you see how this one is as a diamond and here as a square so 
combination with this and this that's what they probably that's why they more sparkle because they hit in a lots of uh, sunlight reflection from different sides and I think that's what create more sparkles Alright, let me work now by myself. I will create all the checkerboard all the way here around and I will get to you. A few hours later I finished this checkerboard around and look the sparkles already up there. We can see some sparkles. I started to create full canvas up there. I started a little bit here on the bottom and maybe together but here is my checkerboard looking good and the sparkles already there look at this twinkles going on with the help of the light all right so I'm gonna stop camera right now and maybe we will fill in a little bit I uh, start from here on the bottom all right let's do a little bit more together now I like the second kind of second step of this because now like I did very precise try to do the first one layer of the checkerboard and now it's just so easy literally just grab and place so we're gonna hear some snapping and crunching noises as my diamonds go tight into the places but definitely doesn't have any pop and drill studs for sure and as of right now you're looking at through the light pad and you can tell that it doesn't have a gaps between diamonds either and I hope we have good view of this diamonds I try to show you as much as possible close as much as possible sometimes camera go after focus well, I think we are seeing a good right now so I'm picking the best drills so far um, they have a, a few of them in here like this side in a little bit not as much as I already mentioned before but also to finish all day I still have like lots in here in the bag so I think definitely we should have enough to finish and we will see how much drills will left from our first color we well, see this one is too connected so we're not gonna bother that even I see some here and here so I'm just gonna put aside for now and I'm trying to pick the best drills whatever I have um, you know some kind of side and I just leave them behind and just for in case if I if I don't have enough good one then I would use them on an end but if I will have enough to finish then I don't have to worry about some drills that has a little bit of you know defecting area that's okay if that's gonna be my leftover drills so I'm not sure how many hours I was working on this um, checkerboard because I was like in and out in and out watching movie with my little girl or uh, do some other stuff around house so uh, but didn't take me long I would say that plus this canvas is not very big at all so we're gonna move pretty much fast in here took me longer to do like I say first step of the checkerboard second one I will do in half of the time probably because now 
I don't have to even think if it's straight or not because the way it's snapping between it will go straight how it's supposed to be excuse me okay very very sparkle let's see let's see my magic a little bit let's see what we have in here we can get some extra sparkles in here look at the sparkles beautiful <laughs> all right let's go after working on a big canvas it's really nice to kind of go back and start on the little canvas kind of more relaxing and fit nicely on my desk okay need to mute my cell phone as some email show up and make me noises notifications okay i'm trying to keep my container very close to my uh, diamond painting that way I can do fast crunch crunch very often I have been asked how how come I do so fast finishing my diamond painting I don't know isn't everyone doing this fast? Sure is black, uh, lots of black drills, but the thing is it's such a beautiful beads nice quality so it doesn't seems like it's kind of some chore because in many uh, diamond painting I don't like really work on a block but this one doesn't bother me as it looks beautiful okay we're gonna move a little bit this way Let's see if I can bring more light or not. I'm still trying to experiment. Oh, that was... I needed this light. Okay. So for this one, since I work only in the evening, my first day, I think tomorrow morning when you were watching this video, I will be working and finishing on this one. I think I will finish. I really want her to frame it. I just I can't wait to see the finish finish image. I hope it will be as beautiful as picture itself. Because sometimes, you know, it could be look beautiful on a thumbnail on a canvas, but then when you working on it, it could be look very pixelated and look awful. So we all hope that we can get the best results even for the small size canvas I wish this canvas would be in a bigger size but unfortunately that's the only oops, sorry 
I'm just gonna move a little bit over. This is the only size they have in this one, so that's what they have. And I remember one time I wanted to order this and this diamond painting wasn't available. So I picked something else and then second time when I was ordering I was like that's it. I have to check if she's in stock because I really really want it. So right now, because it's a black drills, I'm not gonna see, I'm just gonna refill a little bit. Uh, I'm not gonna see right now if I push every bead nicely into the canvas or not. So I will have to roll it later on, of course, on the end. Some static a little bit, but I don't have right now my this static sheet with me. But I think we are still good. We are still good and going strong. Oopsie. Sometimes missing the drill. Maybe better if I hold from this side. I feel like I should create my next video maybe for the cross stitching lovers. So Marilyn Monroe was one on my list to do for 2020 as I received her on the end of year of 2019. So here it is gonna be one more marked checked that it's finished something that I plan see how fast we're doing this one it's so much easier later with checkerboard to just oopsie miss the drill I might will have to refill wax. We can do video questions and answers. If you have some questions to me about any crafty situation, you can ask me under this video and I can gather them together and create video, you know, your questions, my answers, Q&A, we can do that if you choose to. Okay, when I do like this I can feel it that this drill didn't Thick. I didn't push enough. Which one is it? This one? No. Okay, now is. You kind of feel under your finger it's not very smooth. So it's easy just to check by rubbing canvas with your finger. Mm. 
So I guess this um, part of the video we will be working only on this black color because I want to finish outlining black first that it's kind of like it will be image itself will pop later on the first place when we're gonna create background first and uh, when I decide to do another video about Marilyn Monroe I will use maybe maybe let's see that that beautiful kind of like light light turquoise color I think it could be um, maybe on her hair, maybe on her clothes, that like a fur around her neck, and around her shoulder, I don't know. But that color is so beautiful, so maybe we will do more colorful video next time. Because this one video will be pretty much long already. I think maybe around, let's say 25, 35, 40 maybe minutes will be, if not longer, because when I shoot in, in little sequence, kind of I'm losing the time how long video could be until I edit, and then I was like, oh, sometimes it's over one hour, and I didn't realize it's that long, and sometimes I think I just talk too much. But if I will drill and not talk, it will be probably boring. Or I can... I should try one video to add some music on the background. I don't know. But me personally, I like when people talk and as well, not just the loud music. Because I like to listen as well. If I want to listen to music, I just put some kind of concert and listen to music. But if I watch Crafter, I would love to listen to that person and no matter what kind of story. But it's always better if your story more positive and not negative. Keep life more brighter and happier for everybody. Leave it problems behind, kinda, if it's possible. So, we have only this little corner left. Wow, can you believe it? How fast we created already all this. Like, look at this. How fast we fill all this thing. Wow, it's really much faster to create second layer of checkerboard and this is so much fun as well let me just shake it up those beads a little bit last night we supposed to have snow and I see that Ukraine got some snow a little bit and lucky for us and here in Ontario we had rain we didn't have snow who of you received snow last night or night before that would be right now so we got lucky we didn't have a snow thank goodness I would love to see some flowers blooming already not the snow. Okay, so what do you think? Should we finish this video now? 
and next time we will finish and you know together I will do the most of it and then we will drill and review the full picture so I think that would be a good deal so when you watching this video remember that I am working as you watching on part number two to show you the finished product of this canvas and all I will need is to put her in a frame so I might have to take a trip to the dollar store if I don't have a proper frame because I do have some few uh, little frames left not sure if this is gonna be proper fit for this one or not because some, some of those frames for the picture frames I'm using for my cross stitching if you remember my tutorial okay so I will say have a good day everybody thank you for staying with me this time and if we zoom out a little bit and I already see that I need to recharge my battery as well so here she is it's lovely look at those drills are wonderful so if you decide to order diamond painting from wizardy you will not regret by looking on those diamonds and i just have such a little piece left in here and we're gonna get some more pretty colors done i will see you shortly in my next episode goodbye